What kind of pickles do you like, Doc? <laughs> <laughs> Any pickles be fine, there, Chris. <laughs> That's good for your GI, the vinegar and stuff, right? Uh, especially, yes, uh -huh, but probably not the real thing. So uh, I like that the real thing. So <laughs> right on, Doc. So you had a big meeting down at was it at Adeloupe or was it via Zoom? Uh, just we have uh, Zoom. Yeah, there's no face-to-face -face meeting right now. It's just a pandemic. And so if you guys are uh, paying attention, um, last Friday, Dr. Hoa uh, came on and told us that uh, there was an effort to um, deputize, if you will, um, some of the clinics uh, to become vaccination uh, sites. And, and that meeting this morning, 830. Um, How did the meeting go, Doc? What do you have to report? Um, the meeting went uh, as well as it can be, you know, again, you know, Chris, Sabrina, I just want to, uh, again, make sure that people know that all the um, uh, COVID vaccine immunization that uh, we'll be giving at any clinic uh, should be a no cost to any, uh, for uh, anyone, insurance or not insured. Okay, so um, the people should not pay anything at the, at, at any type of, cl any clinic that give out the immunization. So again, um, you know, all the immunization for COVID vaccine are absolutely free to everyone in Guam. Okay, so um, make sure that there's a clear message to 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 everyone. Okay, so um, you know the key here is a, a private public partnership that uh, we the, our goal is to immunize everyone in Guam as fast as possible uh, to create immunity uh, in the, in the community. So. Um, uh, this morning, um, I think that um, we supposed to have, um, I think 300 doses uh, come from public health or Moderna to the clinic, to AMC. So we have, uh, especially um, the Medicare, uh, the annual wellness um, the visit uh, start today uh, for the Medicare patient and all the patient that's 60 plus uh, with comorbidity that will get the vaccine today in the clinic. Um, we also have a um, NVO list that will go down and call the patient that meet the criteria to come in to get the vaccine. Um, SDA and FHP uh, are uh, probably come up online, probably hopefully by tomorrow. Um, they are doing that, hopefully the training on the handling and, um, and uh, storage for the vaccine and also for the nursing staff training online that they will uh, we'll start today. And if um, they finish those certification, then uh, more likely they will have the vaccine in their clinic also to give out to the patient. Um, so um, so to, to today, uh, the clinic will start giving out the vaccine uh, on the, the, by appointment and also uh, by NVO list. So we'll contact the patient to do that. Um, in the future, I mean, we will hopefully by um, Wednesday or Thursday of this week, uh, we will uh, put out a digi uh, digital platform for um, the um, uh, people to sign up online to have the appointment. So that way, um, you know, they don't have to wait in line uh, to get the vaccine. Um, hopefully um, by day, it'll be up online so we can um, prioritize certain group um, uh, if uh, we have enough vaccine from public health to, to give out to certain group, especially um, we either probably target the DOE uh, personnel or the police. So either one, um, if um, uh, agreed by public health, we will um, probably open on Sunday um, to give out the vaccination. So, so, again, today, so again today, you will be giving a vaccinations to your patients so this is a medicare yes this is we have a an, an annual wellness uh, uh, visit for all the medicare patients um starting today um uh, beginning of the year so um, all medicare patients uh, um, especially 60 plus will be given the vaccine today um how many will you be giving out today um I think today um, we have scheduled around 60 to 70. Uh, and on top of that, you know, on the other chronic care management, um, we have um, 60 plus. So we plan to give around 200 today to the clinic. And we're going to do that every day 
uh, for the rest of this week and next week. Wow. Wow. So you already have the vaccine on site or is it getting delivered this morning? Um, uh, it's supposed to be on route uh, oh, okay. um, according to uh, um, public health. So we should expect them to arrive anytime soon. Um, so we already um, arranged a clinic to have the area for observation uh, post vaccination. Uh, so it, uh, you know, so every, everything's still right now, just waiting for the vaccine to get here to the clinic. And then these are going to, the people who are going to be getting the vaccine are uh, Medicaid, and then also you're going to be Medicare. Medicare, and then you're also going to be going through your patient database and looking for those patients in your files who meet the criteria to receive the vaccine? Yeah, it's, um again, it's, um, it's just really just a 60 plus in comorbidity and Medicare patient. Uh, it's really, we don't look into the database when regarding uh, any insurance um, or not insurance. It's just that uh, on this vaccine, it uh, doesn't matter what you have. Uh, if you meet the criteria, you're gonna have it. And you said other clinics uh, will likely uh, fall in line later this week to be able to yes. vaccinate individuals. Yeah, in FHP, um, we have a brief uh, discussion with them on the chat this morning and they are doing their training online to get the certification to CDC. And once they do that, um, they should be also uh, online to start giving the vaccination out to their patient also. Mm -hmm. Uh, Doc, which which clinic, which AMC clinic are the one in uh, Upper Tumon or the one in uh, Mingilo? Or uh, we're going to give out all three locations, oh. um, um, Mingilo, Tumon, and Oka. Okay, okay. Starting so today, uh, all three starting today. Okay, yes. Okay. Um, do, if uh, people meet the criteria and they want to come to the clinic uh, to get the vaccine, are they able to call and, and just come in or is that not an option? I'm going to ask them to uh, to wait until um, at least on Thursday to, for the platform to come up to them to sign in online. Um, so it, the, the best way to handle that way, so that way they come in and have an appointment already. They don't have to wait. Um, no, it takes you know, um, less than five minutes to register. Uh, when they get in here and then um, we get the vaccine so they'd be in and out um, so i would ask uh, people to to wait at least to wednesday or thursday but right now from now until wednesday and thursday we're going to um, give the vaccine out to that point to the patient that have the current appointment with the clinic Anything else discussed during this uh, meeting uh, this morning? Is, was it just uh, you uh, um, and Dr. Cabrera and the governor in the meeting? Was it anybody else? No, no. There's, um, there's a lot of people in the meeting <laughs> there, and um, it's kind of helpful to, um, to to pass on the message. And um, we also try to, if we have enough vaccination, we will try to uh, to, to ask some. Um, um, we go village by village. We're going to ask the, uh, the mayor to see if we can also go out and do the homebound uh, Manamco also, um, just because they cannot get to a clinic. So we're going to try to take a team to go out there and do that. Are you? Oh, so are you part of that team? You're, so you're not part of that team because HSP, uh, from what we understood from Dr. Cabrera, is going to start the homebound uh, shots uh, today. But he also, uh, did you guys talk about caregivers being able to get vaccinated as well? Yeah, well, um, Sabrina, we're not part of that team. It's uh, just that um, we uh, feel like we obligate to do that because uh, our, that's part of our community service. So we're going to, um, you know, our nursing staff uh, volunteer to, to, to do that, put a team together, and we're going to just take one village at a time. It's just help HSP and help other, other organization to do that. But like I say, in those, we need to reach out to our people as much as possible to um, to uh, get the immunization, especially the homebound. So we go. I think we're going to start with PD, and then we go uh, one village at a time. If uh, like I say, if we have enough vaccine, we can do that. Mm -hmm. and, and again, we're not part of the team. It's just part of uh, AMC and the community service that we're going to. Mm -hmm reach out to the homebound Menumco. But but did you guys talk about, aside from the, you know, the homebound Menumco that are getting uh, the vaccine, what about their caregivers? 
Yeah, that's that's something that uh, again, uh, everything we do had to be clear by public health from from Sabrina. We cannot um, give to a vaccine to other people that don't meet mm -hmm. criteria at this yeah. point. Yeah. Uh, so uh, it's because mm -hmm. some um, we have to follow the guideline yeah. set by the company. But now you got to connect to public health because your buddy Dr. Cabrera is working there now. Yeah, I mean we will meet him sometime this afternoon. To uh, to go with the plan, you know. Um, so we will we will talk to to him uh, sometime this afternoon and try to formalize what we can do and what we cannot do. Uh, again, um, uh, we will uh, strictly um, follow the guideline set by public health on the criteria and who will get it who, uh, at this time. So. Um, uh, again, I think it's a uh, group one, one A, one B, one C. So at this point, we're gonna stick with that. You gotta hit him up early in the week before he hits the forty hours. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's uh, hey, I, uh, be okay. All right, doc. <laughs> All right, doc. Anything else? When's uh, the next pack meeting? Uh, I think next pack meeting will be on this Thursday. Uh, okay. So again, we we'll probably go over all this stuff again. Um, our goal is to, uh, like, say, get as as many um, um, clinic up as possible uh, for the vaccination and you know, AMC, SDA, IHP, and the other um, smaller clinic. Also, uh, um, if they want to do it, is um, uh, they can sign up for the program. Mm -hmm. uh, again, it's just a lot of logistics in the clinic that you have to kind of move the waiting area uh, to have room for observation. Uh, so that's the challenging um, part is to, mm -hmm. to arrange your waiting room mm -hmm. in order for uh, to make room for observation because right. they have to wait 15 minutes most of the time. Yeah. And uh, the one that has allergy or complication uh, they have to wait for 30 minutes, so they're gonna have to take some room in the waiting area mm -hmm. uh, for observation. So that's that's the challenging part for each clinic is to make sure they have room to observe this patient. I'm sorry, you said IHP, so because we have a question here. So IHP is also gonna be able to administer vaccines later this week, or did you? They, they should be. I mean, uh, I know they they signed up for it, so they they should be also uh, on the list of. Um, for administration of the, of the vaccine. Like I say, as many clinics to sign up as mm -hmm. possible, it'd be very helpful to get our community to be vaccinated mm -hmm. and um, you know, to create this bubble uh, that we have in the herd immunity. So like I said, when um, all the clinic, if they can, they should be. Mm -hmm. All right, thanks doc. I guess we'll wait for the Joint Information Center to put out uh, all the details right uh, when you heard it here first on the link like we say miss the link mm -hmm. uh miss a lot so okay. thank you thank you doc for that information you're welcome have a good day guys god you bless too. you right on um oh, okay. so we also just confirmed with uh janella carrera from public health that in fact the information that uh, the mayor of inarahan gave us earlier uh on the show about the vaccination clinic scheduled for inarahan uh the community center health center there uh, Thursday and Friday, it in fact will be taking place.